Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is one of the short updates uh, to let you know about what's going on. It's a little complicated here. One of uh, the subscribers here, uh, Beatrice, was kind enough to send me a link to an article about the reopening of, um, well, not the reopening of the airport so much as the first flights of Copa Air, but it b amounts to the same thing as being on August 7th. So I went in to read that, and it's quite specific, and uh, you know it looks fine. Uh, I'll put the link to that article uh, in the description. It is the Cuban News Service, by the way, but it's perfectly okay. We don't care as long as we get that information. Now here, uh, I wasn't able to get it on the on COPUS site. Well, initially I did, and then apparently is happening is that they're not really ready yet to make the official announcement, which could happen tonight or tomorrow morning or something. But the key point is, is that if you go to copaair.com now, uh, as of a little while ago, it will automatically redirect you to the uh, English language site in the United States. And at the top, there'll be a link very clearly to the opening of flights on uh, August 7th. There was a, such a link on, the, on their standard Copa Air uh, home page down here in Panama uh, earlier today, but apparently, apparently, what is happening simply is that they're they're preparing. They're getting their web pages together. They're getting their uh, the back end of their website where all the um, people can make actual reservations and do things like that. Getting it orderly. They're not quite ready yet to make a loud announcement about it. But nonetheless, there it is. So <laughs> I think that's fine and. Since it's both on, uh, it's still on their website. It's just behind the link up on the U.S. level uh, for now. By the time you get there, who knows? I mean, it, I, it's not going to be that way for long. They'll have things ready down here for the main website to to open up very clearly, very soon, I expect. So, until otherwise notified, uh, August seventh seems to be the date that things will get rolling uh, here at Tokeman International Airport. Uh, they've mentioned here that. Um, uh, they'll be prepared for such things as the temperature checks <laughs> and all that and keeping your distance when you're moving through the airport and blah, blah, blah. And holding your passport in such a fashion that the, the, uh, the uh, immigration person doesn't have to touch it. I don't know what it all boils down to, but I'm sure it will be all terribly clear when you get here. Uh, but that's, that's the situation. And, oh, I assure you, you're going to be wearing a face mask. Here, they'll be handing them out to you when you get on the plane, and they will expect you to wear them. And in fact, right now, anywhere you go, they're going to expect you to wear them. Now, what the official uh, ruling will be at that stage, I don't know, but I think you're going to find that even where the government does not make them mandatory as they are now, that a very large portion of the public is going to continue to use them. Uh, they, uh, now they give you some sense of security in the midst of all this. So. That's what I wanted. To, I told you I'd do that. You know, I wanted to bring this to your attention. Uh, I also, at the same time, yet another subscriber here, uh, Wayne, was kind enough to send me uh, some information uh, regarding uh, another offer that had come in. I am now seeing stuff. I continue to see things coming in that remind me very much of uh, about 15 years ago, 12, 15 years ago, when we were in the midst of the big. Uh, uh, bull market here in housing in, in Panama. Thankfully, it was not followed by a, a bust or any sort of collapse at all. It just stabilized. But I see some of the pitches, some of the uh, offers, you know, coming out now. They're very reminiscent, and I'm not terribly pleased with them. You've heard me talking about one type. Another is now out. Let me just put it this way. It's your business, and you do it the way you see fit, and they have to do it the way they see fit. And I'm not going to be criticizing any developer or agency or anybody uh, specifically. And it's not my intent. I don't run around doing that. Uh, you're, the, you're in charge, and you are mature adults. And so I think you can, with a little encouragement to some pointing out the general idea, uh, you can figure out what's best for you and act on it that way. I was a... Uh, Concerned that when somebody says something is guaranteed, that they very they very clearly describe what that guarantee is. When now in this instance, I feel even more strongly, we are not in the midst of a, a people running down to buy things. There is no great urgency. I can't believe some of the stuff that's coming out now. 
uh, to say that the market has been slow over the last three months is an understatement. Now, we have had sales, but those are people who already live here in Panama, and they've had to sell, or those others who needed to buy or whatever. So uh, there's been a trickle of business that's gone on. But especially on the coast to the west of the city, uh, business had fallen sharply prior to the pandemic. So the pandemic's only made that worse. So we've got lots of inventory out there on the coast, and we have quite a bit of it here in the city that needs to be sold, uh, but it boils down to before new projects can be developed and worked, and, and also to keep our, our whole real estate sector afloat. But there are good ways to sell it and not so good ways to sell it. So I'm just saying there are two basic things I'm saying today, and I'm going to leave it at that. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, never buy or appear to commit yourself in any way to buying in advance of your arrival here in Panama. And secondly, for God's sakes, don't send any money. I mean, don't do that. Uh, I don't care whether it's refundable or not. It's not the point. The point is, is that you have not been down here yet. And we are, hey, there are large numbers of people like you. Uh, you just heard August 7th, we start having people come in. Fine. Uh, we've got a time before. There's no need to rush. This is what it boils down to. I hate it when they try to create this atmosphere. That, Get it now while it's still available. There's so much available on the coast to the west of the city. Don't worry about it. And in the city, too. You don't have to get in line to grab that special deal. Because when you come down, as you should, before you buy anything and you look around, you're going to see all sorts of deals up and down the coast and throughout the city. And they're not going to all disappear in 30 days. We should be so lucky. The thousands of people coming to just buy everything. It's not going to work that way. Uh, I mean, it's best once the market's open, the earlier you come down, you know, maybe it's going to have an impact on how much you spend and so on. Uh, that's always good. But to think that you have to, at this stage in time, make any kind of commitment or send any money to this country uh, regarding a property is simply, to me, Unacceptable. I mean, I, I'm just, I don't like to see it. But as I say, it's your business. So if you want to, that's fine. But there, there are going to be lots of opportunities. So don't worry. You're not going to miss out on the best opportunity in the world. Not yet. Uh, those will come. Uh, and, but they'll come when you're down here and you're talking to people and you stick your nose in and you say, hey, I, I really like what I see here, but I'll get back to you, but I've got a couple more places I want to see. That makes all the difference in the world. So just wanted to mention that. And uh, otherwise, things are fine. I hope one of these days we'll get to see each other.